Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Right guys, today's video actually we're going to be looking at quadratic equations but specifically we're going to be looking at complex numbers. Okay, so we'll be looking at this here for the purpose of like today's video guys. Okay, so this is aimed at, yeah, university like level maths guys, further maths, AS and A2, yeah, and um, yeah, um, that's the level that, that we, we will be looking at. Right, guys, so complex numbers, yeah. So, quadratic yeah, equations always have, yeah, two solutions. So, quadratic is usually, like, of the form, like, AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero, okay? So, that's what a, a quadratic is, and it has two solutions, okay? Now, for the purpose of this video, guys, actually, we will be looking at strictly, yeah, just complex numbers. So, what happens, yeah, obviously, when the discriminant B squared minus 4AC, actually, from the quadratic formula, okay, is less than zero, okay? So, that's that. that part there actually so we know obviously when it's bigger than zero it's going to be two real roots okay because i have a square root of of, of 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 a positive number if it's equal to zero then i have what we call like a repeated root okay if it's less than zero then i, then I have like no real root actually so, so it's what i call complex roots okay so it follows the rule here, a plus or minus bi, where a is a real number and then b is the coefficient for the imaginary. So i is just an imaginary number. So square root of minus 1 here, sorry, it should be minus 1 there, okay, is equal to yeah, um, i. So i squared is, is equal to minus 1, so that implies that i is equal to plus or minus root minus 1. Or you might see it as j, so i or j yeah, it, it is, 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 is used in, in, in the maths books. So i is an imaginary number, actually. So the square root of minus 1, actually, is equal to 1 times, yeah, minus root of that. Okay? So, the, so, so, so that's how I work out that. Right, guys, so we're, we're going to look at, like, two examples, actually, for, like, today's lesson. Okay, so solving these equations, too. So, example one, actually, so it says solve x squared minus 8x plus 7 is equal to 0. So, what I've done here is I've, I've completed the square, guys. Okay, so it is half of, of the coefficient here, so it's x minus 4 all squared. Then I've minus the square of this number here, so minus 16 plus 17 is is equal to zero okay so if you're not sure about that guys actually yeah, check out a video actually that i will leave in, in the description below actually for like completing the squared is it quite nice and easy it's not difficult actually. um you can use the quadratic form actually like if needs be for these like um um for these questions but i decided to do it as i complete the square actually because if, if if the coefficient here is not bigger than one then it's nice and easy to do actually yeah um for that, it, it, it's just a bit of algebra. Okay, so that follows, guys. X minus 4 also actually plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, because minus 16 plus 17 is, it will give me plus 1. Rearrange this, so minus 1 on both sides. I get X minus 4 all squared is equal to minus 1. And then finally, um, I rearrange it. So, so, so x minus 4 is equal to plus or minus root minus 1, x equals 4 plus or minus root minus 1 actually, which we deduced earlier to be plus or minus i, so my roots are x equal to 4 plus or minus root actually, so, so my roots are x equals 4 plus root, uh, 4 plus i, and 4 minus i, okay, so that is my solution here yeah, to this qu qu quadratic quadratic equation so the, the, this equation unfortunately yeah it, it has like no real roots okay so we are looking at like complex roots here for the purpose of of this video okay so that's how i do that one guys right example two solve x squared minus 6x plus 20 is equal to zero okay again i i could have solved this by using the quadratic form actually okay so the qu quadratic form actually if you're interested is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a okay yeah um yeah if you want to use that instead actually right um so Complete the square, actually. So, I've, I've halved this and then I've squared it. So, it's x minus 2 squared, actually. And then I've minus the square of this number here. Okay, and then I've added 20 is equal to 0. x minus 3 all squared plus 11 is equal to 0. Rearrange this. Minus 11, minus 11. x minus 3 all squared is, is equal to minus 11. Um, x minus 3 is equal to plus or minus root of minus 11. Because, remember, the opposite of squaring something is square root. 
and then add 3 to both sides, I get x is equal to 3 plus or minus root minus 11, which is equal to x is equal to 3 plus or minus i root 11, because it comes from here, guys, because if it was 11, yeah, it'd be root minus 1 times root 11, actually, so it'd be plus or minus i, yeah, times by root 11, actually, so it would be i root 11, okay, so my solution is x is equal to 3 plus or minus i root 11, actually, and then we can see, obviously, here, from our answer, that x is equal to 4 plus um, i root 11, and then 4 minus i root 11. Okay, so I, I, I wrote that small there. Okay. Right, guys. Okay, so I, ho I, ho I hope that, was, that, that, that that was clear, guys. Okay, so thank you for watching, actually. Yeah. Um, please do, obviously, like, like and subscribe to my channel. So, obviously, press the like button, and then press the subscribe button. Actually, it, it says the word um, button there. So, subscribe button. So, it's a big red, red button that says subscribe. And also, click the bell um, so you are notified of my videos regularly, okay, um, my next video goes actually, uh, I'll be looking at examples for adding, subtracting and dividing and multiplying complex numbers, okay, and then in tomorrow's video, I'll be looking at linear systems actually, uh, obviously to bring like a little close, um, yeah, to the topics for, for like the university like level topics that I'll be looking at, and then from the 1st of May onwards, I will go back to looking at GCC like maths topics, um, but if I've not covered all the topics that you wanted actually, yeah, uh, Obviously, what I'll do is in tomorrow's video, actually, I will leave a link in the description to obviously Khan Academy, um, yeah, and and also Patrick JMT actually, because they are both brilliant channels for maths. Okay, uh, yeah, for anyone that's studying like maths as their undergraduate degree. Okay, so I hope, yeah, yes, guys. Okay, so th thank thank you for watching, guys. Actually, yeah, and please do obviously like, like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll speak to you soon. Now, happy Thursday. Bye now.